Exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are starting off clear and quiet, which has really allowed temperatures to cool down as they have with those clear skies and the calm winds as you're heading out the door. You're definitely going to want that jacket because our temperatures have fallen to the 40s and mid to lower 50s across Louisiana. So not tracking anything on Doppler radar, nice clean sweep across the entire area. And here's a live shot now in downtown El Dorado where the skies are clear, winds are calm, and we got temperatures in the 40s in South Arkansas. Right now, El Dorado Airport reporting a temperature of 47 degrees. Dew points are in the upper 30s and winds are also calm. We've had over a 20 degree temperature change up around Canton near El Dorado and 15 degree change across Louisiana. So you can see how these temperatures have really cooled off. Uh, we're mostly in the 50s on I-20. Monroe's at 52, 51 in Ruston, 48 Monticello, and Camden's currently at the coolest at 45. Dew points were also allowed to drop yesterday with that northerly breeze. It allowed the dry air to continue to sink in, and we'll probably get a reinforcement of more dry air as we go into tomorrow with high pressure sinking in just up to the north. For your bus stop forecast, the kids are going to want that jack when they're heading out this afternoon. We really will be allowed to warm back up to the lower 80s, but dew points aren't expected to be climbing up that much, so it's still going to feel quite comfortable today. We'll see temperatures most in the 80s and probably holding out in the upper 70s in southeast Arkansas. Now, moving forward, it's kind of going to be the main problem. The main topic we'll probably talk about the rest of the week is the fact that we're not anticipating any rainfall. We are going to stay quiet short term and looking long term. Got dry conditions in Arkansas and also in the parts of Louisiana. This will update on Thursday and probably not going to improve because we're not going to see any rain between now and then and not likely to see any rainfall over the weekend or through next week. Looking at the sixth Sunday outlook, looking dry across much of the east coast and also including the Arkansas. So no relief from these drought conditions expected. We do have burn bans in effect for all of South Arkansas and a new burn ban that has been issued for Union Parish. That's the only parish in the Arkansas viewing area that's under one right now. But we could probably see more Louisiana parishes issue some more burn bans before the week is out because, like I said, conditions really aren't expected to improve. High pressure sitting to the north, helping to keep us quiet. We do have one disturbance back off to the west. However, it's going to stay far too west in Oklahoma, Texas. Not likely to do anything for us except maybe give us just a few passing clouds, but that's about it. Behind it, as we go into tomorrow, high pressure begins to settle into the north, reinforcing some drier and cooler air, giving us a really good taste of fall as the temperature fall to lower 40s and could even see some upper 30s by tomorrow night and daytime highs will be dropping as well. Now a quick look at the tropics. We'd have one disturbance out in the central Atlantic expected to move to a more favorable environment as it moves closer towards the Caribbean. Right now 60% chance of development as we head into the weekend so something to be watching and then we have another system just off the coast of Central America kind of 30 percent chance development at this point but looking more towards the 6 7 day outlook nothing likely here within the short term next few days but again two areas we'll be watching before the week is out been high about 83 degrees for this afternoon mostly pleasant and then for tonight you're going to want that jacket when you're heading out and also for early tomorrow morning as we'll be in the mid lower 40s and for tomorrow, these temperatures, notice how they really cool off to the upper 60s just for daytime highs and going to really feel like it's actual fall tomorrow throughout the rest of the week. Very nice and pleasant with temperatures in the 70s, but we could warm back up to the 80s early next week.